These are my tools for making great PS2 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. We've got a really great tutorial today for the PS2 Fat or Slim. A YouTube subscriber asked, how do you get the game Vampire Darkstalkers Collection, the Japanese version, to work on the PS2 with Free McBoot and OPL? So here's the trick. I'll walk you through it. Basically, the short story is have your PS2 set up, have your game ready to rip to USB, and then from there, what you want to do is turn on your PS2, but go ahead and hold down the R1 button, assuming that you're using free McBoot. So let me do that real quick here. So turn on the PS2, R1 is depressed, and what happens is it's going to boot into Ulaunch Elf. From there, you can go ahead, navigate to your boot folder, and load OPL manually, or you can set up like a shortcut like I did and load it up that way. So I'm going to do the shortcut method and load up OPL 0.9.2. I've tested on the latest 0.9.3 plus, that works as well. I've heard other reports that 0.9 also works. So if you go to triangle, the only mode I have set up right now is just mode six, seems to work out great. And if you want to run off a USB, if you forgot how to do that, press start, go to settings. Here I have USB set to auto, USB thumb drive is plugged in and um, we're good to go. So let's go ahead and run the game. Oops, press X. So how do you get the game to work on USB? You can use uh, USB Extreme is one program you can use to rip the ISO and split it and store it on your USB thumb drive or flash or hard drive. Or you can use another program like USB Util 2.0. Um, and you're good to go that way. I believe the game doesn't work on SMB, but don't quote me on that. It's been a while since I've tried it, but I know for sure USB works great here. So if someone's curious about SMB, I could definitely go back and revisit it in the near future. But in the meantime, the YouTube subscriber request was related to USB, so that's what we're going to be showcasing today anyways. So what happens if you, um, you know, start the game through a regular method? Let's pick a random game here. Let's say you turn on your PS2, go into a free McBoot, load OPL from your main home screen, then start OPL, then start the game. What happens is you get to this section where you get to the main menu, you start the game, and then your game just turns to a black screen. And you can sit there as long as you want, but it's going to stay a black screen. So what you want to do, for whatever reason, I can't explain it, is you got to bypass the free McBoot loading screen stuff, go into OPL, through the U-Launch ELF and you're good to go that way. So if you're a Finding fan, Darkstalker fan, I suppose, this is a great, great collection. So I'm just gonna pick some random stuff here. Turbo, random characters. Um, sound works great. Graphics looks great. I'm using component cables, if you guys are curious. Music is great. I'm sure if I saw in-game movie sequence, It'll probably be great as well. So that's today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.